close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it. When you breathe out, notice where you feel the process of breathing. Try to keep your attention right there. Bring your mind in alignment with the body. It's when the mind is staying with the body that they can look after each other properly. All too often, it's like a person who's got a house but doesn't live in the house, wandering around all over the place. The person is put to difficulties. When the rain falls, he gets wet. When the sun comes out, he gets hot. And the house is put to difficulties, too. There's nobody looking after it. When the person is living in the house, he's protected by the house. And you can look after the house, too. Notice where mice have moved in or termites have moved in. You can do something about it. Notice where the floorboards are beginning to rot. You can fix those as well. In other words, while you're staying here with the breath, you can look after the way the breath feels in the body. And if it doesn't feel right, you can change it so it feels soothing and healing. And the breath is medicine for the mind, medicine for the body, if you use it right. As with any medicine, if you use it wrong, there's going to be problems. But here we're learning how to use it right. Use the breath to soothe the different parts of the body, and the mind will have a sense of being soothed as well. And it's a good place, safe place to stay. When you're staying with the breath, the world outside may be really unpleasant. You have to deal with unpleasant people or deal with unpleasant situations. But you don't have to go out and be exposed to all that. You can just stay right here with the breath. You know what's going on outside, but you're not getting exposed to it. You're not putting yourself into that situation. You're staying in the body, in the breath. And that way you're a lot safer. It's like seeing a storm come by. If you're in the house, you can watch the storm come through and know that your house is nice and watertight. It's safe. You're safe from the storm. That's the same when you've got the breath to rely on. You can be dealing with difficult people, you stay with the breath coming in and going out of a sense of well-being. And who knows, maybe that sense of well-being will radiate out of you and affect the other person. Sometimes that can happen. But at the very least, you know how to take care of yourself. And this is not a selfish thing, because when you can take care of your own mind, it means you're having to place less of a burden on other people. And they're less being victimized by your greed, aversion, and delusion. Because you've got a sense of well-being right here, right now. And you look at greed and you say, why would you want to get involved with greed? You look at aversion. Why would you get involved with aversion? Delusion. Why go there? You've got a better place to stay. So look after this place to stay here in the body, using the breath as your means for straightening everything out, both in the body and in the mind. You benefit and the people around you benefit as well.